how to do a relay power door lock. Power door locks have been around for many years, but manufacturers use different wiring schemes. One wiring scheme island resistive rest at ground, which has been used in the past by various manufacturers including Ford Motor Company. Resistive rest at ground is meant to keep both power door lock solenoids grounded, and then a positive pulse is applied when needed. The power door solenoid or actuator is nothing more than a DC motor type component, which changes the direction of the lock actuation by reverse polarity. In other words, the door lock is actuated by reversing the polarity going to the solenoid. Here is where a relay becomes a very versatile controller of sorts. Here's how the circuit works. Power is fed from the fuse to terminal 85 of the relay coil. This right away tells us that the relay actuation is going to be by ground, which is a lot safer. From the fuse, power is also fed to terminal 87 of the relay. This is a variation of how we normally connect terminal 30, which normally goes to power. But, not here where terminal 30 is used as an output. Terminal 87A is connected, on both relays, to chassis ground. In this configuration, both relays connect the door lock actuator terminal to ground, hence the name of this circuit, resistive rests at ground. Then, we see the door lock switch to the right, which is connected to chassis ground. The door lock switch acts like a simple activation selector. Whenever we actuate the switch, one of the relays is actuated sending a power pulse or connection to the door lock. As soon as we flip the switch the other direction, the previously activated relay turns off and the other relay is then activated. In essence, this reverses the polarity of the door lock actuator. The end result is a full up and down movement of the door lock. This particular wiring arrangement can be used to rewire an older vehicle, where parts are non-existent or to retrofit a non-power door lock vehicle. The nature of this power control arrangement makes this circuit very reliable and useful.